It was miserable. It's probably the best way to put it. Every day, I have one goal in mind is how to get that next fix. How to not be sick is really the goal. It wasn't even to get high anymore. It stopped becoming fun long before I got clean. When you wake up searching for dope and you fall asleep, dreaming about how you're gonna get it and feel better in the morning. And most times it was praying that it would be my last one in the sense that like I would just fall out and not wake up. I mean, that's how miserable it was for me. My name is Matthew Martin. I'm a case manager with Santa Fe Fire Department. We work with local law enforcement as a diversion program. So somebody who gets picked up for anything in relation to their substance abuse, they can be referred to us for services as opposed to going to jail. Are you going to be good today? Yeah. All right. We'll see. Okay. Say bye to Daddy. Ciao, Ollie. I love you guys. Bye. Good job. It wasn't a bad childhood. We were supported and provided everything we needed. They got divorced before I was one. Um, my relationship with my biological mother I really haven't talked to her in probably over 20 years or so. My family especially thinks that that contributed to a lot of my using. Like I ended up getting kicked out of my parents' house. So now I'm like searching the streets for stuff. Just be careful where you step. And that kind of led to the heroin addiction. I was homeless quite a few times. My family really wanted nothing to do with me because my brother and sister had kids and they didn't want me around the little ones. I wanted to stop, but I just didn't know how. And it didn't make sense to me. Like, I couldn't imagine a life without using. How do people enjoy life without being drunk or high? It just didn't make sense to me. Do you want this blanket? Yeah. You look cold as shit. Do you want some snacks? Be safe. Stay warm, brother. If I'm doing criminal activity, like, sure. I get it. I need to be held responsible. But if I'm getting arrested and slapped with felonies because... I'm just struggling, like, like, I need help. I don't need to be arrested. It kind of disqualifies them from all these assistance programs. If they want to go back to school, like, it makes it hard to get any kind of loan. Finding a house, finding a job, like, all those things become more difficult. We're hindering their ability to do any better. I am these people, right? They are me. And if I wasn't given a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh chance to better myself and become a different person and have people support and guide me to become a, a productive member of society, I wouldn't be here talking to you. People didn't give up on me. And because of that, I'm here today and I'm able to help other people. I hope that, you know, me sharing my experience and not pushing them to follow my path, but maybe just they hear something one day and they're like, if he can do it, maybe, just maybe, I'll give it a try. February 18th, 2015, and I've been clean since.